Hello guys, what's going on? Jerome here from Awesome Sauce Films, and today I have for you our Spec Ops Mission Guide Episode 5. Now, this episode what we're doing is basically going over to the six locations and getting biological samples of the weapon that's going to be used. And, you know, if you played the campaign, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you didn't play the campaign, I won't spoil anything. But yeah, it's basically what you're going to be doing. And the key here, if you're wondering why I keep taking bullets, it doesn't seem to be doing much damage, as well as why the HUD is really kind of fucked up, is because you play this in a Juggernaut suit, which means one thing. Thing. No, it doesn't mean that you should run through the level and sprint like this. It means you should probably take it slow and take it easy and you'll be fine. What I mean by that is, although you're going to have your first instinct to try and finish this as fast as possible, as long as you have a decent amount of time, if you have 10 minutes to spend, you know, spend the 10 minutes, you know, don't rush out there. In fact, it'll probably save you time in the long run because instead of just having to quit, restart, or anything like that, take it slow one or two times and you'll finish it. Not that bad at all. But the reason why is because... Now, I know you're thinking, oh, I'm in a Juggernaut suit, I can't die. You can die fairly quickly in a Juggernaut suit if you're not careful. And I'm not just saying that, you really can die at an extremely, extremely fast rate if you're not careful. It's actually kind of surprising at some points. But especially when you're playing on veteran mode, you know, don't, don't fuck around. It's, there's no need to, you don't need to act cocky, it's not like anyone's watching. And if you're playing with a partner, it probably makes this mission just that much easier. But let's see, so we're going to collect this first sample here. Nothing bad going on, and if you're wondering why there's little resistance, it's because I hung back there, and I don't know if you realize, by hanging back, I was able to pick off about 10 to 20 people. And another thing to keep in mind is the Juggernaut suit regenerates health the same way it would otherwise, even if you didn't have the suit on. Which means, so let's just, let me explain the health system to you. So say your normal health system, like if you don't have a Juggernaut suit, is say you get 100 HP and it regenerates at its normal rate, you know, like, oh, it'll regenerate the health, everything's fine, so if you never got shot before, blah, 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 blah. The same thing exists for a Juggernaut suit, only let's say you have a 500 base health. So you can regenerate all your health back, no strings attached, and you have more of it from the start that it will actually go back to. So, I don't know, I think that's really cool, and I think at the same time it really allows you to not have to rush up for it, not like make you think that, oh, my health's not going to regenerate, I'm going to be screwed if I keep getting shot. No, take a couple bullets, then move on, you know what I mean? And I think that'll really help you out on this mission. Now, I know this is going to be a long and rambly mission. That's because there's not much to talk about. It's fairly basic from there. And at the same time... <coughs> Jeez, I'm starting to get a little bit of a cough going on. And at the same time, it's really just, you know, fairly basic. And what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, it's basic, and at the same time, if you take it slow, you're going to be able to finish this thing A-OK. -okay. Just, it'll take you a little bit more time. But hopefully, once again, you have that time to spend. Now, one thing I didn't really touch much upon, because I didn't use it last time and ended up dying the first time I played, was the Care Package Airdrop Marker. Not a Care Package, sorry, just Air Support Marker. And what that'll do is exactly what you just saw. It'll crush all opposition, although I probably, I didn't throw it in there, which I probably should have, but I need to save it, because at the top of this ramp, there's going to be a random truck, and the truck kind of, it, it raped me last time I tried doing something. It, like, it just, it took me, and it just, it defiled me in so many ways. Okay, there we go. Kill them. Now, one part here, do not underestimate it. They will start running down these stairs. At least they did for me. There we go. One, two. I already killed three other ones before, so we'll say it's up to four. And Holy crap, there's the guy again in that truck. That damn truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to lob a care... What is that called? Airdrop marker up there, and let's, let's see what happens. Let's hope. Come on, give us something good. There we go. 600 points means we must have killed the vehicle, so we are safe to move on. And I don't know if we're ever going to get that back. I hope so. Oh, shit, I hope we get that back. Damn, I think that might have been it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Perhaps we should not have wasted it that early. Okay, learn from my mistake. Don't use it that early. It's stupid. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get down there and across the street in order to pick up our remaining, uh, what is it called? You know, our remaining, uh, samples. And I didn't get points for that. Oh, that's because he didn't die. I was gonna say, I thought his teammate might have TK'd him because I didn't pick up any points for that guy. But apparently it's just because he got knocked down. Ooh, that riot shield got me worried. I thought for a second that he was an enemy juggernaut. And I was like, oh god, so they're sending in juggernauts to kill me now. Because, I mean, it's got to be a little harder than what we've seen so far. It's, it's I mean, a little bit too easy for a veteran mission, you know? But, whatever. I mean, it is only in this... It's the first mission of the second set. So I, I can't really expect it to be, like, impossible. But still, I mean, I guess I expected more of a challenge. Oh god, oh god, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. No, 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 hide inside, hide inside. Once again, guys, don't be afraid to call it quits. If you're getting raped, go hide. You know what I mean? Take take, take your like chances and just go. So, guys, it looks like we regenerated one canister. And I'm not sure if that was natural regeneration that regenerates after a certain amount of time or after we collect a sample. But that means that you don't have to worry. You can use the care package on that one... Co not care. I fucking keep saying care package. You can use the air support 
on that one vehicle that we saw earlier without any kind of harm to you. And uh, now you get another one that you can use on this guy up here. So let's let's use that on him. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to camp inside the building until I know he's dead. There we go. Plus 600. He's dead. Let's move on. And once again, I'm going to take it slow. So I'm going to pull out the ACOG so I can actually... Sorry, I think I could have sworn I saw a sniper, but it might have said the Peck Chang. I think the Peck Chang it said. Yeah, the Peck Chang. I don't think that's... I think that's a light machine gun. Yep. Okay, so that doesn't help as much. But as long as we use our AK-47 ACOG, if you picked that up at the beginning like I did, then you should be fucking fine. Oh my god. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse there, but that's... That was some crazy RPGs right there. That that surprised me. I'm sorry. Holy shit! Now we're getting airstriked apparently. Damn, we are just we are not we are not feeling the love right now at all. You know I'm gonna I'm just gonna randomly throw these grenades down there and hope for the best. Or maybe if we're lucky we can pick up another uh, care, uh airstrike. I mean, hey, we're actually killing them. That, those grenades weren't that bad. They can kill just kill two people with those grenades. All right, let's see. Sensor is back online. Oh, okay. So yeah, it is time based. So as long as you use it and then you can take cover again, you should be fine using your uh, airstrikes. You don't have to worry. They, you know, it'll do the trick for you, and you don't have to worry about losing them forever. There we go. I just wasted and only killed a single guy, and that was fine with me. There are two guys, I guess, that showed up. The one that was a little bit delayed, but you know, it wasn't the end of the world. I got my ammo back, and uh, we're ready to go. So. I mean, really, not that big of a deal in the end, but, you know, up to you if you guys want to waste it that way. And then, so it will take you a little longer, probably, because if you need it for a part, you're going to have to sit in the back of the map for about two to three minutes for you to regenerate the actual thing. At least it seems like that's the regeneration time. I'll estimate it at two to three minutes. So you guys can get your own exact one if you want to use the timer at the bottom of the YouTube screen to actually do that. And, oh, God, we're lagging in a non-online game. What is this? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh wait, we got we oh, we started unlagging there. That was that was weird though. Who who lags in a non-online game? I mean seriously. <laughs> and I definitely didn't scratch the disc. I just got it. Turn back. And, I what? I didn't mean to do it. I was just making sure there's no enemies there. Jeez, don't let me go back there if you don't want me to. <coughs> Here we go. Collecting the fourth sample. Now we're down to two more, and we just regenerated our airstrike. Holy shit! Holy shit! That's that's horrible. Why would they? Why would they put those guys there to spawn there like that? That was. That's terrible spawning. Kind of a little bit inconvenient, too, if you ask me. Wait a minute. There's an ammo drop. Oh, my God. Enemy airstrike there. I know enough to move away from the red smoke. You see red smoke, move the fuck away. The enemy's about to call an airstrike. And right here, guys, we have an ammo drop. Just a little bit of tip. So once you go over there and you, uh, you know, you plant the sample, go to that thing and reload. It's really good. Get up some ammo. And a cool little trick I learned about, like, going to the ammo drops is if you say you were to take the ammo from the ammo drop, you actually reload all of your guns, and you do it at a quicker pace than that of the light machine gun. So basically, say you need to reload your light machine gun, you're better off literally refilling ammo than you are actually reloading the gun, which is, is a little bit of a trick. And it also, like, holy shit, Juggernaut vs. Juggernaut right here. Wish me luck, guys. This is going to be intense. I'm going to flashbang out the window. Once again, let's not, let's not worry about like overusing our, uh, our stun grenades or anything like that, because we'll be able to get more of them. So let's abuse them on this Juggernaut here. Oh my god, we are not a good version of this Juggernaut. This, this Juggernaut seems a little more experienced at his job than us. Alright, so you ready? Watch this, you ready? Instead of reloading that light machine gun, bam, we're back to normal in a matter of, like, two, three seconds. So that was, it was well worth it to do it that way. Oh, I forgot to check my back. Okay, so apparently no one's coming from behind. Just gotta go straight forward and, uh, take, take the fight right to them. Let's see, anything in here? Nope, we've got ourselves another air, like, I mean, um, missile strike we can use, but I don't think we're going to have a chance. It seems like the rest of this mission is indoors. I guess kind of to inconvenience you out of using the, uh, like, missile strikes or anything like that, but, yep, it's, it would appear that way. So let's see, kill him, slowly make our way up these stairs. Let's, sure we can retreat. Ah, guys right here. All right, so we do have a little bit of resistance up here. I don't know how much resistance just yet, but... Actually, it seems like those... I'm really confused, because we are not getting much resistance in this place, and I have a feeling that we should be getting a lot more. Holy shit, there we go. Now we're starting to get grenades and stuff. Oh my god, they're all downstairs. What the hell is going on here? Okay, I'll, I'm not going to collect that sample until... Oh my god, they're, they're They're going through the fucking roof. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait a minute. The roof. That means that if we were to drop that down there in the middle, they can fire through the open roof, and uh, let's see... Let's hope my theory is correct. Come on, please. It is correct! Holy shit! Okay, guys. New thing. If they try and come through the middle there, just airdrop them through the same hole that they come through. That should work to your advantage. And we go. Collected the fifth sample. 
One more down. Oh, God. We don't want to get grenaded. I don't really know how much grenades do in a Juggernaut suit. I imagine they're, you know, like the resistance is still the same for a Juggernaut suit as it is for any bullet, but I'm not sure. Don't take my word for that. And, uh, yeah, it appears that airstrike took out a lot of the resistance downstairs. I'm not really sure if that many people are left. There was one. Uh, there's number two. Is that it? I'm, I guess my airstrike took out the rest of them. Wow, overall, this was only my second time playing the mission, and I really didn't have that bad of a time. Holy shit, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die bragging, in the middle of bragging, in the middle of bragging. Okay, the mission's not over yet. We have to go to the extraction point. Holy crap. Do not make the mistake I made. The mission is not over yet. Oh my god, I would have been so mad if that happened to me like that. Oh my god. I'm going to shoot through there. Once again, guys, I'm starting to lose a little bit of my touch here. You know what I mean? Just stay focused, and no need to rush out there. Take your time, and you will finish the level. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Okay, take my own advice. Just be patient. Oh my god, is that a juggernaut? That's a juggernaut, isn't it? No, never mind, these aren't juggernauts. Thank god. But I bet you there's gonna be another juggernaut. He's gonna rape me. Holy shit, that scared me. Oh god. Evac is ready. Get to the rooftop. Oh, I will, asshole. Once I can actually cross the damn street, when you keep spawning in people. All right, I think we're no, we're not good yet. Okay, I think I think we're good for now, at least on the outside of the building. No, we're not. Holy crap! How many people? Okay, before we move, oh my god, we don't even have a choice now. We don't even have a choice. The rise shit. Holy shit! So regardless, it takes only two smacks to kill you. Okay, keep that in mind. I'm just gonna fast forward to like get back to there. So hey guys, sorry about that last time we died. Once again, keep in mind that even though you have the Juggernaut suit on, it still is only two deaths, or two smacks, I mean, until you can actually die. So keep that in mind, don't just go rushing up to the enemy like I did, you will end up failing. And uh, we are just about at where we were before, I'm just receiving these last samples, but I figured it gave me a little time to explain what happened before and uh, how you can improve upon that before we start moving on to the next part so I have time to commentate. So basically, that's really all you gotta do. This time around, when I came back, I started using the Thumper, and I realized that that may be a better strategy. It's up to you guys, though, completely preference. You can use the AK-47 with the ACOG if you want the long range, or you use the Thumper because you get a lot of ammo drops throughout the mission, not just the one I showed you. There's also two to three others throughout the mission. So either way, you should be good for ammo for the Thumper, and it is a very, very effective weapon at this point. I, I enjoy it a lot. See, like, right here, for things like this, I mean... You can't, it doesn't seem like you can go wrong at parts like this, but I mean, of course, you know, there's always those times when, oh god, see, now they're starting to get a little antsy in the pantsy, as I like to call it, and they are rushing up, and it is not good for us, because these riot shield guys, I'm pretty sure, even though the riot shield is, like, you know, a little bit weaker than a knife, as, like, you can examine, I'm pretty sure it does the same amount of damage as a normal smack from a gun, so you will die with only two smacks from that riot shield, I'm pretty sure, so watch out, it's a little bit dangerous, but... You know, hopefully you should be able to uh, realize not to rush up to them, and you should be fine. But, oh god, it seems like we're not left with much of a choice here. That's one that always annoyed me, is when you play online and things... Not online, sorry. You play campaign and things, the Riot Shield men in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, they do have machine guns that they're able to side-shoot through the thing, which is two advantages. One, they can actually hold a non-pistol, and two, they can side-shoot it, which means that basically they can shoot it, like, out of the, just the corner view of the... Uh, what is it, of the uh, shields, so they can stay covered, get protection, at the same time they can do effective damage. And it looks like we're at the very end of the mission, I think we just walk out, and yeah, that's it. Wow. So, anyway guys, I was really into the mission, I'm a little bit pissed off that we died towards the end there, but just keep all the things I told you in mind, you should be fine, and keep your eye out for various ammo drops, and uh, it should turn out in your favor. So anyway guys, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good night.